we can move on and we can <coughs> actually map the supratrochlear and the supraorbital arteries. Now, these arteries are very important for when we want to inject the forehead and if we want to inject the glabellar area. Now, these are the most risky areas to actually get blindness. And blindness happens in one to a hundred thousand injections. So it's not very common, but because it's such a difficult and severe side effect, this is something that we really, really need to prevent. And the risk area, the most risky areas for this are the glabellar area and the forehead and also the dorsum, the back of the nose. And the arteries that are involved in this are the supratrochlear artery, the supraorbital artery and also the dorsal nasal artery, so the dorsal artery of the nose. And so we need actually, we will map them and we will start with the supratrochlear artery and the supraorbital artery and these arteries actually change plane when they go up towards the forehead. So they start at the area of the eyebrow and there they are deep and at a certain area at around and under the lower fifth of the forehead they will change plane and they will go from deep to superficial so that when we inject the forehead we can better be deep because mostly the arteries will be more superficial but still there is a variability and this change of plane differs from patient to patient so we'll just go now and map these arteries start with the b mode and what we will have here actually are we will see naturally the skin and the muscles and the muscles in this in this area are the procerus and the corrugator and these are muscles that we can actually can you frown okay so contract so you can see the muscle here uh, contracting and release. So let's start with the supratrochlear artery, which should be here somewhere. And we'll go to the color Doppler B mode. So this is the supratrochlear artery here because it's more medial. It's in the center, but it's quite medial here. So, the level of this artery is at the corner of the brow, at the inner corner, the medial part of the brow, and we can measure the distance. And it will be at 3.7 millimeters here, so it's just where on the middle, medial part of a brow, and it's at 3.7 millimeters depth. The supraorbital artery is more lateral, and so I'm gonna check for it, and it should go out from the supraorbital foramen, and so there it is. And it's just where the foramen is. Here it is. This is the supraorbital. And here again, the distance is 2.9 centimeters. So the arteries are here and they are at around 2.9 to 3 millimeters depth. And so this is an area where I would not want to inject and mostly I will not inject filler there. And if I've seen where the arteries are, then I will naturally go 
to another area and inject either laterally or medially to the arteries. So in her case, we can inject the glabellar area more centrally. So we can actually check. And now that we've mapped the arteries, and so we, we could actually go on and inject more medially in the glabellar area where there are actually no bigger vessels there. Another um, something that we could do is because the forehead is such a risky area and if we would like to inject it, we would want to map and see where the vessels are. And there should be a change of plane. So the vessels, they should actually go from deep to superficial as we go more um, up into the forehead. So somewhere in the forehead, the vessels, the bigger vessels should be more, uh, more superficial. The bone is the white line and above we can see the frontalis muscle and above that we can see the skin. And what can be interesting here is that the vessels get more superficial and you can see here, for instance, if we measure, it will be more superficial and it will go So you can see it's 1.7 millimeters. So the vessels actually change and they go from deep to superficial in the forehead.